Hello friends of IFA. We're really very excited to be bringing the Third Iranian Film Festival to you very shortly. Hello friends of IFA. We're really very excited to be bringing the Third Iranian Film Festival to you very shortly. Uh, the festival is going to open in Brisbane on 10th of October. Then we travel to Sydney, Canberra, Adelaide, and we finish in Melbourne on 10th of uh, November. And we'd like to talk about the uh, program with you a little bit now, the range of exciting films that we'll be able to screen for you. Small Points is uh, the opening night film of the festival. Uh, it is international premiere of, of this film, and it is directorial debut from Pema Moadi. Uh, you might uh, know him from a separation. He, did, he was the lead actor in that film. Uh, this film won the audience award at uh, last year's Fash Film Festival and won uh, three awards, uh, Best uh, Script, Best Film and Best Actress for Manas Afshar in uh, House of Critics Awards last year in Iran. And I think that she's been highly acclaimed for this particular role by the public. A lot of people feel that it's one of her best performances ever. It's um, an interesting film because it's an example of uh, the uh, new middle class family dramas, but it's a particularly subtle one, I think. Yes, uh, the narrative is very subtle, and I particularly like the black and white uh, style of filming that Mahdi has used in it's this film. It's beautiful. Mm. The second film that we'd like to talk about, the second film of Fat and Fact we're screening, is called Parvis. Parvis is the second feature film from uh, director Majid Barzaga. You might uh, remember, if you were at IFA uh, 2011, we had his first film, uh, Rainy Seasons, Fasle Baron Haim Musemi. And uh, he's a very interesting uh, um, up and coming director. He has been getting a lot of attention in, uh, out outside Iran in, f in festivals. And uh, quite unusual stories he take on. Yes, there is, this one's a very black comedy, but it has some very funny moments, quite unexpected. I think it's a very fresh film. Uh, it was in uh, Rotterdam this year, at the, uh, it was part of the awards there. So I think it's something that people should really find quite different and unusual. <laughs> The next film, uh, Close Curtain or Parde by Jaffa Panahi and Kambuzio Partovi. Yes, I think this is a particularly important film, Close Curtain. It's uh, 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 the second film that uh, Panahi has made since he's actually been forbidden from making films, uh, something I think most people are very aware of. And he's done it in the same way as he did the last film. He's chosen a collaborator, in this case Partovi, who um, has worked on, on, the, on the credits with him but has also acted in the film. In fact, both of them appear in the film. And what he's done is to combine allegory with reality. So it has a very interesting mix of fiction and non-fiction. This is uh, uh, something of a trademark of Panahi's. We know this from uh, The Mirror, which he made many years earlier. And I think this film, as I say, is, is a really important piece of work. And it won uh, uh, at Berlin Film Festival this year, uh, Silver Bear for Best Screenplay. So we're looking forward to screening this film. Why don't we talk about The Wedlock, which was in Montreal this year? The Wedlock, or Zendegi Mushtarak Aghe Mahmoudi Ve Banu in Farsi, uh, it has a different uh, translation of the Farsi name to English. Uh, is, uh, is a new film from Ruhullah Hejazi. Uh, you, might, uh, you might know him from uh, the controversial title that he, he made uh, two years ago, uh, The Private Life of Mr. and Mrs. M, that, was, that got banned in Iran because of the uh, type of subject that it was uh, tackling. Uh, the Redlock is, uh, is a t different, uh, different story. Uh, you, you see a very subtle, uh, subtle tone of uh, that type of um, that, that element in the film. But uh, it is about a gap between generations, older generation and the new generation, that, uh, and, and that they come together and they have to resolve the issues. Quite an in interesting f uh, film, uh, interesting characters, and uh, beautiful actors. Yes, indeed, I'd be singling out what's a really luminous performance from Tarane Ali Dusti. Um, people will probably know her from um, About Ellie. Uh, her very first role, I think, was in I'm Tarane 15, which she made when she was roughly that kind of age, mm. and she gives a really superb performance in this. The film actually takes over four generations. It's quite interesting, I think. It yes. really, really is a very lively and enjoyable mm. film too, I think. Yeah, and the, and the other interesting um, performance is from Hamid Farah Najad, of course, one of the veteran uh, actors in Iran. Mm. Very nice interplay between those two in particular, I think, yeah. yes. The Gardener, uh, Bagaban, uh, by the great exile director, uh, Mohsen Mahmoud 
This is a documentary. It's quite an unusual piece of work. It's actually a, a, a very serious in intent. The point for Mahmoudov was to uh, have a debate on um, the place of uh, religion and politics uh, together. And uh, it's taken the form of what's quite a whimsical documentary. It's really uh, Mahmoudov back on form. And he's what he's done to, is to uh, go to the Baha'i quarters, to the garden of the Baha'i quarters in Jerusalem with his son Mezam and they have an actual debate and of course there are some people in the garden as well. It's a, a little bit experimental in form and uh, it's really a big comeback for Mahmoudov. I think it's an important piece of filmmaking. Yes, he has had an interesting journey in the past uh, 30 years of his uh, filmmaking career and his uh, personal um, his personal trajectory present, has yeah, been as well. Exactly. Yes, he's re so, he reached a new point with this. Yes, I think really it's very important for people to watch. So now let's talk about our pair of documentaries. We've got two documentaries uh, called Nessa and Moving Up, both by the same director and uh, quite related. They're both about wannabe artists. Yes. Um, Lorma Khaledi is a is an up and coming director, and, and a uh, friend of yours, I believe. Yes, we went to film school in Iran together about ten years ago, maybe. So uh, yeah, it's great to see uh, his film here. The stories uh, happen in uh, in Kermansha, a western uh, province of Iran, and uh, what what it shows are uh, two um, one of the artists who want to move up one level in their society, but they have uh, challenges um, with with their family and uh, and the society because they don't accept um, where they want to go. They can't follow their dreams uh, the way they want to. One of them is a garbage collector who wants to become a writer, and Dostoevsky is his, uh, is his uh, <laughs> Ideal. Role, role model. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the other one is, uh, is a, young, a young girl who wants to be, uh, be an actress, but uh, from a very uh, traditional and closed uh, family. Uh, it's a very interesting piece and um, and great to, as a as a also as a study case uh, to see these two films and uh, beautiful um, f piece of documentary filmmaking as well. I think so too, and I should just say that although I laughed with the Dostoevsky model, um, I think they're very sympathetic and very kind portraits. I think they're really lovely. And what's interesting to me is that uh, uh, we have the first one, Nessa, which we screen first, and you have the kind of perspective about women in Iran and the constraints that um, they're working under, and you think, oh yes. But then when we move to the uh, the, the male, we see that he's just co just as constrained within his role. Mm -hmm. and I think. Perhaps this is peculiar more to the countryside, though, than... Yes, uh, Kermansha is a much smaller city than uh, like Tehran or Isfahan, mm. so a uh, different type of uh, life would be expected mm. there. Mm. We also have a very charming and gently humorous film called Meeting Leila, and I think this is, it, it reminds me very much actually of a French film, and of course it stars Leila Hatami. Do you mm. want to talk about it a bit more? Uh, yes, uh, the uh, the director Adel Yaravi is his uh, first film. He acts in the film as well, and uh, he has a co-written co script with uh, with um, Abbas Kiarostami, the great Iranian director. Um, it is a slightly humorous. I would say a slight humor. Is it? I think it's a gently humorous film. I think yeah. it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a battle of the sexes. Yes, well, it it shows uh, um, what in a, in a relationship what you need to compromise, and um, it is uh, the uh, the uh, the actor is or the character in the film is uh, in love with his smoking, and he o he can only be creative when he smokes. And but the woman is a perfume tester, so it's a very it's just not conflict. on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work together. So maybe now we could talk about Rhino Season, also from an exile director, Bahman Gobadi. Uh, his most recent film about a, uh, it's based on a true story about a Kurdish poet who was uh, imprisoned under the, um, uh, at the time of the Iranian revolution. Yes, uh, Bahman Gobadi's new film, which is shot in Turkey, he actually brings back uh, one of the Iranian uh, legends, the actor uh, Behrouz Wasuri, back to the biggest screen after 30 years. And, and also Monica Bellucci, which is quite interesting mix. Uh, she mm. uh, she um, plays an Iranian Iranian character in the film, and um, 
Beres Souri uh, particularly chooses this film because of type of acting that was required in the film. There is not much speaking in the film, and definitely a film that needs to be seen on a big screen. And uh, Turaj Aslani, the cinematographer uh, mm. of the film, has done a great job in this film, yes. He's done such a good job that he won the award for cinematography at the Asia Pacific Screen Awards in Brisbane last year. Yes. And, uh, and the Golden Frog in Poland as well. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes it really does need, to, mm -hmm. it does need the big screen to appreciate yeah, it. It's sure. just fabulous. Uh, and finally, uh, Downpour, or Ragbar, is actually the first film from legendary Iranian director Baron Bezai. This is uh, from 1972, and it shows the uh, older uh, Tehran and the poorer part of uh, Tehran the film has been made. And it would be interesting for a non-Iranian audience to see an example of the pre-revolutionary cinema in Iran. And it would be interesting for non-Iranian audience to see a pre-revolutionary example of uh, cinema in Iran. And what's really special about it is that we have a newly restored print. Uh, Martin Scorsese's World Cinema Foundation has actually restored this. They've only restored about 22 films, and one of them is Iranian. Uh, and uh, in fact, it was selected by a film council, a which included Abbas Kiristami. Mm. So we'll be seeing it on DCP, not 35 mil, but nonetheless fully restored. And I think that will be a really special yeah. opportunity. And Baron Bezoy at the moment is uh, living in America, teaching at Stanford, so quite interesting. Yes, and in fact, that's how they got the uh, film print. Apparently, it's the uh, it's the only print that they could lay their hands on. It's a positive print with English subtitles already burnt into it. Mm. Uh, they they didn't have a negative or anything else to work from. So, yeah, we're very excited. We've been working really hard mm. to get this one, and finally, it happened. And that concludes our ten films for this year. I hope you enjoy them. And we look forward to seeing you somewhere around Australia in one of those many screenings.